Hey folks, uh, Kev Fix It here. Um, this is my video number two. Um, if you remember, um, I had a problem where my gun wasn't firing, and it all came down to the problem of the bumper stop here had uh, broken. Uh, I pretty much conveyed many times in my first video about thoroughly cleaning your gun. Uh, here's pretty much all the debris, and that's not all of it, that I got out of my gun because this thing had shattered. So uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned the, the gun, took every piece apart, uh, wiped it down, pulled the, the, the uh, O-rings out, cleaned everything. I actually washed some stuff in the soap and water, uh, thoroughly dried it, and then any metal parts I uh, let air dry. Um, and then I coated these parts here, here, and here. When anything was metal, uh, I coated with a light, uh, a light um, coat of um, oil. And then any of the uh, rubbers, gaskets, O-rings, I used a white lithium grease. So I tried to put the gun layout here together, um, laid it out so that this is how it would actually go together. Um, so the first thing is, here's the back of the gun. And why did I take this apart? Because there was actually plastic pieces in here in the spring, um, very minute pieces, but I, I thoroughly cleaned it. So the first thing is to take this, get this um, piece of rubber, and you'll see it has two sides. This side and the side has bumps. Little bumps. These little rings, little bumps here, go inside these holes here. So how do you align that? Well, I basically just took it upside down and uh, lined up where the where it should go, and then I marked it with a red red marker here, and also on the the gasket. So when I turned it over, I could align my mark. So you'll see there's a mark. Hard to see that little yellowish mark there lines with that okay next thing is take this rubber this uh, spring here drop that in just make sure my uh, thing is aligned again okay then when I take my your exhaust cover then I'm going to take my piece here and we'll drive that we'll drive that in Okay, pretty much got that down in there. I can tighten it later. Okay, I'm gonna take this piece and put it to the side. The next is to take this. This is the rear bumper stop that had shattered. Okay, and that's how it looks. The part that sticks out is gonna be facing you. This part here, the indent, is going to go inside the rear exhaust. So I'm gonna turn this around. There we go. Before we put this, like this into here, we need to take this metal ring and put it over here, over the gun, over the, uh, the bumper stop like that. Then this entire piece goes in like that. And then the spring, here's the spring. Spring goes in and it actually goes into a little groove there. Okay. And then this piece here, uh, all my O-rings are back in place. There's one inside there, two here. Uh, that goes this way. This is the one that gives me a little bit of a challenge Getting in there Really gotta mess with it to get it in there But it will go once you can get it in there. The next piece is here are the Housing here where the drive piston goes and here's the drive piston. So what I like to do is um, the um, uh, Assembly of the gun uh, so this is the, the part, this part here is the one that's actually going to go inside the gun. Um, and you see that cylinder is nice and clean now. So what I like to do is turn it this way. And I like to then take the piston and stick it in here. Okay. The reason I'm going to go the other way is because I don't want um, any issues with the, with the piston actually causing um, problems 